Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share everything you need to know about starting a permanent jewelry business. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get started. I'm actually vlogging today and in today's vlog, I shared just that I want to share more of my business because that is my life and it's easier to share things that are actually going on as opposed to trying to keep them separated. So I do wanna share everything about permanent jewelry just because it is crazy, crazy popular right now. And I know a lot of people want in on this business. So I figured I would share everything that you need to get started. We actually recently expanded to offer permanent jewelry. If you're new here, I have a brand called SB. I will have it linked below, but we've been around for about five years and it just made sense to expand into permanent jewelry since it is so popular. In some ways that was an easy transition for us because we already had a lot of the business stuff set up, but in other ways we're now trying to be known for something else besides what we already do. And so that's kind of a little bit more difficult, but anyway, I want to share with you everything that you need to start your own permanent jewelry business. If that's something that you're interested in, I guess, first of all, I should start out by explaining what permanent jewelry even is because I know that I am obviously so familiar with it, but I know a lot of people aren't. So, um, let me just share what it is. It is a chains that are welded onto you instead of having a clasp. So they never come off. They're permanent, although they can be removed with scissors if you ever want to remove them. This is the one that I have. And as you can see, there's no clasp right here is the jump ring where there would be a clasp normally, but it's just a chain. So it's really fun. It's an exciting experience to go to with a friend, your mom, your sister, whoever. I noticed more people than not come with somebody when they want a permanent piece. Um, we've had couples get them together. It's just, it's super fun. So it's fun to do it. It's fun to talk to people and see what they're up to while they're doing it. And anyway, that is what permanent jewelry is. There's a few boring things that you've just gotta do, gotta get it out of the way. So first of all is filing with your state. Every state has different requirements, but you just go on your state's website, see what the requirements are and file your business with your state. You'll choose what kind of filing you want to do. We have an LLC personally, but uh, you can file whatever kind you want or you think is best for your business. After that, you're gonna file for either a reseller's license or a sales tax license. It's kind of the same thing. It just depends again on what state you're in. I live in Michigan and so we need a sales tax license. The reseller's license or sales tax license lets you buy items at wholesale, which is how you get the better pricing when you're buying supplies. A lot of websites only sell to wholesalers, so you have to log in to even look at the inventory and look at what is for sale. That's what makes it legal for you to resell items, obviously and it's super important to have. I think it's a really good idea to do this no matter what, but you're especially going to need it if you're doing markets of any kind, is you're going to need general liability insurance. And most of the markets that I've seen require either, either $500,000 or a million dollars worth of insurance. You can easily go online, do a little Google search, and it's really not that expensive, depending on if you have a, a physical store or not, but we don't have a physical store right now, so we're just doing pop-ups. So honestly, it's really, it's not that bad. After that initial paperwork is done, you want to secure your domain and your social handles, anything that you have with your business name. And I know a lot of people, especially when they start with a business that's mostly pop-ups and markets and stuff, they don't have a website and they think they can just grow their business on Instagram or on TikTok or whatever. And sure, you certainly can, but I highly, highly, highly recommend you get a website because we don't own Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or any of these platforms. The only thing that you own is your own website. So if you're not building your website and Instagram goes down tomorrow, your entire business will be gone. So building your website is super, super important. It also really helps with Google ratings, your SEO. It also just helps your credibility. It lets people research and know more about your business and behind the scenes, they kind of get more connected with your business if they have a website to look at. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a website. There are a few different platforms that you can use and it depends on if you're going to accept payments through your website or not. We use Shopify, which I just think is super easy. You don't need to know how to code to build your website. You can just buy a theme and then it's 
plug and play. It's super easy to add pages, add in all of your information, and you truly don't need to know much about websites at all to get a website done. And then Shopify also makes it really easy to accept payments. They have different card readers that we have a card reader directly from them, which it makes it really easy that everything is all together in one place. It tracks all of our inventory and it's just, it's amazing. I recommend Shopify for anyone starting a business. Speaking of your website and your social media, you're gonna wanna nail down your logo and your branding. You can do this in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of logo services out there or you can actually pay a branding service. We had a branding service make all of our branding and we have a cohesive brand guide with all of our fonts, colors, logos, all of that. Um, if you don't want to invest in that right away, you don't have to, and you can use a logo service and then choose a color palette. There's a bunch of different design websites that will give you a bunch of different color palettes. So if you say like, I want blue, then they'll come up with a bunch of different palettes that have like a certain blue in it for you and colors that complement that one initial color. Uh, there's just, there's so much. You can find stuff on Pinterest and um, design seeds is a really good website. There's a lot of them though, and you just really want to have a cohesive brand voice. So when you post something online, people can tell that it's from you. And of course, you want to start posting on social media as soon as you can and start teasing the launch of your business. Okay, that was all of the boring stuff. I tried to go as fast as I could through all of it just so that we could get it out of the way because nobody wants to talk about filing paperwork. So let's get into the good stuff, the inventory, the supplies, the stuff that you actually really need. As far as equipment goes, you're going to need a welder. And that is something that I did so much, so much, so much research on. I ended up getting the Orion Impulse. Seriously, I cannot even tell you how many welders I looked at and it just seems like nothing compares. That is the gold standard welder in the industry. I will have it linked below. Every single thing that I mention will be linked below for you, but um, it's just an amazing, amazing welder, especially for welding jewelry. It's just so precise and it's made exactly for that. So. It's a great welder, but there are a couple of other options if you wanna go that route. Um, it is a pretty large investment. Just the base model of it is about $2,400, give or take, depending on where you buy it from. Every website has it at different amounts, and that doesn't include tax or shipping. That will most likely be the by far most expensive thing that you invest in right off the bat. The only problem with that welder is that since it is kind of the gold standard, it's really, really, really hard to get your hands on right now. I have looked everywhere recently and it's really hard to find in stock. Some websites will say that it's in stock, but then when you add it to your cart, it's actually back ordered. A lot of them are just plain out of stock. You just have to look and do your research and try and find something in stock or get on the wait list if you can't find anything. You'll want some welding glasses. I have, I think the welding package that I got came with one pair, but I ended up buying two more pairs just off of Amazon. And those are really nice because I can let my customers wear a pair so that they can actually watch. You do not want your customers to watch with their bare eyes. And so I actually also bought alcohol wipes, just pre-packaged alcohol wipes so that I can wipe off the glasses in between every customer while they're sitting there so that they have fresh new clean glasses to put on but yeah so you'll have your customers put the glasses on they're hilarious looking and actually I had quite a few people taking pictures in them just because they are so funny so welding glasses are a must and then you also need needle nose or chain nose pliers you'll need two pairs for anyone who is cutting the chain or working with the chain so each person would need two pairs. Right now, I'm the only person doing the welding, and so I have two pairs for myself. You also need a pair of wire cutters so that you can actually cut the chain. This next one is not a necessity, but it has made my life so much easier. I didn't have it when I first got the welder and I was practicing, and I just decided I really, really needed it. And it is a magnifying lamp. So it has a magnifying glass, but then it also has light. So it lights everything up and then also magnifies it. It is incredible. I have one that has um, just a switch on it. And the magnifying glass moves exactly where I need it to move, which is absolutely necessary. And it comes with a stand, but you can also remove it from the stand and connect it to a piece that connects to the side of your table, which is really convenient because then it doesn't take up any of the table space. So I love this. I tried out another version that was much cheaper and it was awful and I ended up returning it. So I at minimum would get a lamp and I know that there's just tabletop lamps that you can get, but 
I would honestly get a magnifier every time. And I don't know if that's just because I don't have perfect vision, but it just makes it so much easier, especially when you're working with these teeny tiny chains and the spot where you want to weld is like minuscule. So I just think that it's much easier to see and to work with that magnifier. There's a couple of other things like you'll want a little piece of leather or fabric that would go in between the wrist or the skin of your customer and the chain so that when you're welding there's no chance that it would touch their skin which again i can link all of this stuff below and then lastly but most excitingly you need your supplies you'll need jump rings and chain and then depending on what you're offering maybe you want charms and maybe you want clasps I do offer clasps. If somebody wants a clasp instead of having it on all the time, I can offer that. And then also we are getting into offering different charms so they can add on a charm if they want, which is a really exciting add on. Another aspect of buying supplies is figuring out the quality of pieces that you're going to offer. So you can offer gold plated, silver plated, rhodium plated. All of that is kind of like the bottom tier, the cheapest that you can buy. And obviously your price point would reflect that. The next up you could do gold vermeil, which is a little bit better than gold plated. It's not quite as nice as some of the others. And then the next tier would be gold filled and sterling silver. That is the tier that I offer. Gold filled means that the gold is actually bonded onto the base metal and it's hypoallergenic. It's waterproof. You can wear it every day without it tarnishing. You don't have to worry about the quality of it. After that, you would go to solid yellow and white gold. So those are kind of the different quality tiers and your prices would reflect what tier you decide to go with. I'm going to do a ton more videos on a bunch of different topics, like the start to finish of how to set up your welder and how to do a permanent bracelet slash necklace anklet, um, where to buy chains from, just a bunch of different topics. But if you have any questions or any topics that you want me to cover, leave them down below in the comments. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you are starting a permanent jewelry business, it is super fun and you really have an opportunity right now if you jump on it soon because it's not available everywhere and it is really popular. So I think that the market is kind of in the perfect place if you want to jump in. So I hope this was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.